So I wanted to spice it up a little bit and show you guys just how we could add texturing and what that would look like um, directly in CAD. So we'll have future videos on that. If you want to know, please let me know by subscribing and liking the video. That helps me know if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, and I'll definitely make sure to make content about that. So we're just gonna go ahead and just do a quick unboxing of this. So here's what it looks like when you take the front cover off and you're presented with the three build plates um, that LED sells. It's got these little corner brackets. We're gonna go ahead and um, queue up a print on the Neptune Max or the Centauri here to make like a plate holder. All right, so we have our build plate holder done. We'll get a closer look at that in a second. I wanna first talk about the build plates themselves. We'll get a closer look at these. So um, this is going to be one of the two sides. Test out these smooth sides. I don't have a lot of experience printing on the smooth side opposed to the PEI textured side. So we're gonna do a whole series where I have the perfect way to test this. I'm gonna show you uh, in just a moment. So. Moving on, um, the next build plate in line here is going to be this carbon fiber looking one. Pretty cool, honestly. Pretty excited about that one. And uh, again, on the back of this one is just kind of another, um, really just another textured PEI feel, but it feels a little bit less abrasive than the last one I had in my hand. And then the last one in that kit, not only uh, do you have this really cool geometric kind of pattern here, kind of looks like the Volcom stone um, flat matte finish I'm not sure what that one's gonna be like I would imagine zero bed adhesion with that uh, this one feels like it might have a fighting chance to at least stick for some small prints um, we'll see if we can come up with anything cool on that but let me show you how we're actually gonna test these and we're gonna see what the difference is when we print on some of these other surfaces and then we can shine a light through the back and see just how uh, different some of them are. Uh, we can do a couple of them without the infill pattern on the back and a couple with just to see uh, what the difference is going to be like. So I think this will be the perfect way to test this and uh, stay tuned for that. It might take me a few days to get that video together, um, but the, right now we're just kind of focusing on the unboxing and what we're looking at and we'll get into the performance of them and how we can use them later. Very happy with how all this is coming along. I think that it'll be a fun journey to experiment uh, printing out the top plates for the backlit bud base. And we'll see how that all turns out together. So just stay tuned, guys. Again, please drop a subscribe and a like. And that uh, will definitely go a long way. And I appreciate you guys greatly.